Hello and welcome. In this video, we want to learn the integrals of trigonometric functions. The first formula is integral of sine of x dx equals negative cosine of x plus c. If you ask yourself where this formula is coming from, these formulas are opposite of derivative rules. If you remember from derivative, derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x, and so derivative of negative cosine of x is sine of x. The next formula, integral of cosine of x dx is sine of x plus c. Again, this formula is true because derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. And so integral of cosine of x dx is sine of x plus c. And the next formula, integral of secant 2x dx equals tangent of x plus c. Because we know that derivative of tangent of x is secant 2 of x. And so integral of secant 2 of x is tangent of x. Integral of cosecant 2x dx is negative cotangent of x plus c. Because we remember that derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant 2x. And so derivative of negative cotangent of x is cosecant 2 of x. Now let's do some examples with these formulas. Integral of 2 sine of x dx is 2 integral of sine of x dx. We pull out 2 from the integral and we put it in front of the integral and then we integrate the sine of x based on this rule. Integral of sine of x is negative cosine of x. If you multiply it by 2, it becomes negative 2 cosine of x plus c. Another example. Integral of 1 plus sine of x plus cosine of x dx is x minus cosine of x plus sine of x plus c. Because integral of 1 is x. Remember that derivative of x is 1. So integral of 1 is x. Integral of sine of x is negative cosine of x and integral of cosine of x is sine of x. Another example. What is the integral of 2 plus secant 2 theta d theta? Instead of variable x, here the variable is theta. The integral equals 2 theta plus tangent of theta plus c. Integral of 2 is 2 theta, not 2x. Note that here we have d theta. It means that the variable of the function is theta. So when we integrate 2, we are integrating 2 with respect to theta, and so the answer is 2 theta plus integral of second 2 based on this formula is tangent. Integral of second 2 theta d theta is tangent theta plus c. Another example. Here we want to integrate 1 over sine 2x. Maybe you ask yourself, we have no formula for this, but note that from trigonometry, we know that 1 over sine is cosecant. And so 1 over sine 2 of x is cosecant 2 of x. So we can rewrite this expression in the form of cosecant 2x. And now we can use this formula. So Sometimes we know that we have to rewrite the expression, the integrand, in the form that fits to the formula that we have. 1 over sine 2x is cosecant 2 of x, and so now we can use the formula. Integral of cosecant 2x dx is negative cotangent of x plus c. We have two other formula for integrating trigonometric functions. Integral of secant of x times tangent of x dx is secant of x plus c, and integral of cosecant of x times cotangent of x dx is 
negative cosecant of x plus c. Again, the reason that these formulas are true is because of derivative. Derivative of secant of x is secant of x tangent of x, and so integral of this expression is secant of x. These are opposite of the formulas of derivative. And derivative of cosecant of x, if you remember from derivative, was negative cosecant of x cotangent of x. And so derivative of negative cosecant of x will be cosecant of x cotangent of x. So these are the other formulas that sometimes we need them to integrate trigonometric functions. Let's do an example. What is the integral of 1 plus secant of x tangent of x dx? We know that integral of 1 is x and integral of secant of x tangent of x based on this formula is secant of x plus c. Another example. What is the integral of cotangent of x over sine of x dx? We cannot integrate this function immediately because none of the formulas that we have learned so far works for this expression. But we can rewrite this function such that it fits with one of the formulas. We know that 1 over sine of x is cosecant of x. So, We can rewrite this expression in the form of cosecant of x, cotangent of x, dx. We can use this formula to integrate this expression. The answer will be negative cosecant of x plus c. As you see in these examples, sometimes you have to rewrite the expression in front of the integral, the integrand, in such a form that fits to your formulas. This is the tricky part and the hard part of integration and it needs knowledge of trigonometric functions, relation between trigonometric functions and sometimes a bit algebraic operations. Another example, what is the integral of secant of x times secant of x plus tangent of x dx? First, we have to distribute this secant of x in the bracket. Note that we cannot integrate this expression and this expression separately and multiply them. First, we rewrite the expression in a form that fits to our formulas. We distribute this secant in the bracket. It becomes secant 2 plus secant times tan. Now, we integrate this term and this term individually. Integral of secant 2x is tangent of x and integral of secant times tan is secant of x plus c. Another example. What is the integral of sine of x over cosecant 2x dx? Unfortunately, none of the formulas works to integrate this function in this form. So we have to try to rewrite it in a form that fits to our formulas. First, I write sine of x over cosine 2x in the form of sine of x over cosine of x times 1 over cosine of x. Note that cosine of x times cosine of x is cosine to the 2 of x. So nothing is changed. Just I separated denominator and I rewrite cosine 2 as cosine times cosine. Now, from trigonometry formulas, we know that sine of x over cosine of x is tangent of x, and 1 over cosine is secant of x. So, we have tangent of x times secant of x. And to integrate tangent of x times secant of x, we have this formula. Integral of secant times tan, or tan times secant, the order doesn't matter, is secant of x plus c. And so the answer of the integral is secant of x plus c. Next, 